doing today. Uh, here is very rainy, but I'll take it. We need the rain. So, um, yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Love to hear what you're up to, what's going on. So the question today is, the paralegal career in general, is it a toxic work environment or a toxic culture? And the overall, that question, the overall answer to that is no. But there are, with any workplace, it can be toxic. Doesn't matter if it's the legal field or not. But how you determine that, I would say 90 to 95% of the time is in the interview by asking questions that are insightful. And I go over some of those in um, both the paralegal inner circle class and the entry level paralegal interview class, okay? That's why I put those out there because people end up in a job, and I've done this myself, where you're in an environment that does not suit you, okay? And what type of environment is that? Well, it could be that the staff are acting as if they're in a seventh grade clique. I have a lot of experience with ha being the brunt of that clique when I moved to another city in New Jersey. So I, I can see it right away. Um, I can walk into a workplace on an interview and not only the questions, but that vibe and that energy that I'm getting from the people that I'm meeting there you know so the questions that you ask during the interview are everything to avoid that kind of toxic culture can the attorneys be in that as well be toxic well yes they can okay um, as with any other workplace don't glamorize this profession it's a workplace for you to build a career that's very flexible it's about you building something, about you following your calling. So, um, have I been in those places? Yes. Did I stay in those places? No, I did not. That's why when I tell you to track everything you're learning and understand what value you're bringing to the law firm, you've gotta be able to talk about that to the next law firm. Should you stay in a toxic environment? Why would you? If there are jobs that are open around you, then you have opportunity. If it's toxic in the first job, well, that's problematic, you know, but it's not the end of the world because you, if you don't, if, if you don't make a change and you aren't open to that, then you get what you get and you bring that home with you, all of that toxicity. I've done it right here and uh, not pretty. And it causes angst for family members or significant others or anybody in your life. You, you're carrying it with you. So why would you do that to yourself? For what? You know, if there's yelling and screaming, no human should have to put up with that. Are you being treated like an ATM machine? Or see, now if you're new into this field, you're like, oh my gosh, this happens. It happens in every workplace to some degree. But what I had to do was learn how to interview so that I could avoid this type of nonsense. That's the best word for it. But it's more severe than just nonsense. It's It can cause you a lot of problems and our good mental health is worth protecting. Okay? So, one of the things that I found out was that some attorneys don't care about the professional rules of conduct. And then some of them, and I've worked in this area, um, it's not an area of law per se, but it's, I worked for the first director of professionalism for the state of Florida in his private practice. So I got to see what, what was causing the problems or what problems the attorneys cause for themselves. And when that happens, then it causes problems for the staff too in trying to manage work and trying to be decent employees, okay? Um, so the question here is, to avoid that, what do you have to do? You have to ask questions. 
in the interview. And if you haven't enrolled in either of the classes I mentioned, Paralegal Inner Circle class or the Entry Level Paralegal um, Interview class, then you need to go to my website and check those out, paralegalcoffeetalk.com. You'll see courses for paralegals and then you'll see the Paralegal Inner Circle class kind of stand in, has its own menu item. Check it out. Paralegal Inner Circle class closes at 11.59 tomorrow for the fall season at least. So don't miss out on that. The first step is if you're looking at this career for the first time is get the legal break-in book. That's on Amazon. Just go get it or you can scroll down and look for a link in the um, either on the Facebook Paralegal Coffee Talk page or the website um, on YouTube, not website, um, YouTube channel called Paralegal Career Mastermind. Okay, that's step one. Step two is take the Paralegal Inner Circle class. Okay, step three is take the Cover Letter Secrets class. Boom. Can you be in a paralegal job in under 30 days? Yes, you can. But I want you to understand that you've got to put a protective barrier around yourself with any job hunting in any field so that you know who these people are that you are going to be working with and what kind of environment is that. Okay, because in the interview, everybody plays nice and makes like it's, it's the greatest place to work, you know. That's not always true, and so that's, you have to understand what this, what that culture in that, that office is all about. And the only way you find that out is by asking questions, okay? All right, so have a great day. Don't forget, you wanna find a link to those classes, scroll through the feed on Facebook, or go in the description box on YouTube, okay? And that's right, below the title. There's some arrows. You click that, it opens that up for you. All right. Have a great day. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.